The New Magic 107.5975 with Carol Blackman, and I have some incredible ladies here with me today. I have Sharon McGee and Nikki Gilbert. Good afternoon, Carol. Hello there. How are you doing? Good, good. I like that. You know, that's one thing for sure. It's different from TV. It's yes. radio. You know, folks, and radio that is that way too, but you got folks around you, they can talk. Right. 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 We can communicate. <laughs> we can see each other. I like each that. Other. I like Thanks that. Thanks for having us today, Carol. So you all, tell me how the pocketbook monologues came to be first. Well, this is um, a journey that started for me, Carol, during my day job. I'm the news director for WBON Radio in the city of Chicago. Greetings from Chi-Town, right. Atlanta. They're here. Yes, They're right. Here. <laughs> um, and where I work as a news director, and of course, um, besides reporting on our first family that happens to be from the South Side and that's right, that's right. the murders of Jennifer Hudson's family, wow. something else um, really got to me and that was the new face of HIV and AIDS and it's girls and women of color. Carol, we are at the top of this list and so right. I started talking to women from all walks of life about sexuality and intimacy and the responsibility that goes along with that. It is up to us to protect ourselves. So the monologues cover everything from menstruation to menopause, mm -hmm. but our emphasis is encouraging girls and women to set ourselves on this pedestal so that we are respectful of ourselves whenever we're intimate. And the term pocketbook mm -hmm. comes from older African-American mm -hmm. women mm -hmm. whenever they would describe the triangle that separates their thighs. <laughs> <laughs> What's a pocketbook? That is. That's right. right. And they had some rules that went along mm -hmm. with it. We didn't call it abstinence, but you might hear a big mama say, girl, you need to go somewhere, sit down, and keep your pocketbook closed. That's right. <laughs> that is so true. That's right. So now, excuse me, we're talking about this, since, like you said, from menstruation to menopause. menopause. We cover so it all. We, so we have a range of ages, too, telling That's these right. stories for us, telling our stories. That's true. And okay. we also have a teen component okay, um, because we know that our girls are being pressured not only by media, but some of the boys that they continue to love, Absolutely. Chris Brown and Rihanna, oh, I'm not going to go there. Please oh, hold me. Oh, pray for hold me. Hold the back. Hold the back. Pray for me. Hit you That's now. That's right now. Um, <laughs> no. So we have uh, pocketbook ladies in training, and we affectionately call them our coin purses. Mm -hmm. They're ages 8 to 18, and okay. they have their own stories to tell. And so when you join us on Saturday night um, on the campus of Georgia Tech, you'll also see one of our coin purses along with our fabulous pocketbook ladies reading the stories of women from CEOs of Fortune 500 wow. companies to crackheads, Carol. <laughs> Every woman has a story to tell. Everybody. Every woman. Absolutely. Okay, wonderful, wonderful work. Yeah, bye. Now, tell me about the to win two tickets to check out an evening of Neo Soul with Anthony David and Lettucey at the Tabernacle, Friday, June 19th at 8 o'clock. Also, tickets are available at LiveNation.com, but you can win them right now, right here. Caller 17-404-741-1075. Call me now to win. Magic 1075. group of guest pocketbook ladies is unbelievable, <laughs> including the young lady that is joining us in the studio today. Mm -hmm. uh, what a, a phenomenal voice. Um, you, you receive this gift, and what do you do with it? Well, you share it with the world. Isn't that right, Miss Nikki Gilbert? That's right. That's, that's right. That's right. For. She's going to be one of our, our guest um, pocketbook ladies. So we're so pleased that you yes. would um, volunteer your time for this Thank effort. You. But, you know, being there, and everyone still loves you. How does that make you feel? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is this I mean, is it's just like you said, it's a gift, and I think gifts are to be, you know, shared and given. And I mean, it's a wonderful opportunity. I love being involved in anything that helps to uplift and empower women. I'm 100 percent about the cause. And there's so many young Good. ladies out there. You see them, like we mentioned, we were talking earlier. You see them on the street, and they're not standing with the head held high. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, standing you up. Can straight yeah. You can see it. You can yeah. see it. You can see it. So now, how how does it how does it work that you go to different markets and we you go list to different the cities? Different, okay. Right. Um, the last sold out show that we did was in Chicago, and Damn for it. the first time, we used all African American female news anchors. Now these are the ladies that for years are very prim and proper and they <laughs> news every night. Right. But they got up on the stage with the pocketbook monologues, Carol showed up and showed out. Stop it. Because this is taking them out of their comfort zone. Absolutely. And so I was a little worried about that. But the So the, you coached them, I'm sure you That's would right. Coach. Um, <laughs> they, uh, and, and we uh -huh. basically brought these uh, monologues to life. So uh -huh. we're always looking for women that have that little oomph. Yeah. You have to be a drama queen to uh -huh. even present the yeah, pocketbook right. monologues. So you know Nikki, so Nikki, Nikki got you too. 
too. Gotta yeah, have right. a look. Gotta, gotta have, have a little, little showman. That's yeah. right. A little swag and <laughs> right. We have them. Um, and so this year we also have Essence Atkins that's going to be performing. Yeah. You guys remember her from half Absolutely. and half. Yeah. And um, what about Miss Ella Joyce? Ella mm -hmm. Joyce. Oh, rock oh, and yes. set it all. Oh, that agree. Oh, that's great. Oh, is the thespian great. of the group. Um, and we also have um, some of the reality show stars from the Housewives of Atlanta will oh, yeah. also be joining mm -hmm. us on Saturday Lisa. night. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Lisa Wu is going to be there, and Candy, uh, a new um, addition to the Housewives, yes. is also going to be from there. Escape. That's okay. right. Okay. Uh -huh. So this is writing. going to be great. And we'll be um, live at the First Center for the Performing Arts, and of course that's on the campus of Georgia Tech. We want you to log on to the website at pocketbooktour.com and just see all these phenomenal ladies that will be right. there. So we want and see when it comes back to Atlanta. That's my push. I'm that's pushing right. it. Again. That's <laughs> right. This, this, Let's this put year, it out in the summer. atmosphere that's and right. make it happen. We will that's be back. That's okay. right. We claim we will that return. right now. That's right. That's good. And that's so good. I think the message of empowering um, women and girls, especially when it comes to sexuality. Oh, yeah. Because of course we say, no, 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 don't do it. But Carol, come on. There has to be more to the At conversation than that. At some point, you going to open up your pocketbook? Yeah. Let's figure out how to open it up. Uh -oh. And don't die from it. Because right. it might be good. <laughs> but it's not but worth it. But we don't want to die <laughs> from it. Okay. Yeah. Crack is good. Yeah. I, some people. Right. Well, I, I, I didn't mean to say it's good. Right. But some people but think it's good. Right. Until you realize it's really very That's bad. right. Exactly. And we want to encourage women and girls to understand that when you know better, your actions you should be better. That's right. Your okay. actions should reflect that. Absolutely. We've got the information. We have the knowledge. But when we talk about HIV and AIDS, the face that comes to most is Magic Johnson. Mm. But Magic has something that nobody else really ever else has. Platinum health insurance. There you go. Platinum. Right. That's right. Not gold. That's right. Platinum. That's right. So he has the wherewithal to sustain yeah. everything. What if you are one of the 15 million or so plus that are uninsured? Imagine you know what, what you have to go through. Exactly. So this is something that's preventable. The numbers come out, Carol, and they tell us that we have a problem. A now, major first, problem. A major problem. When it first started with HIV AIDS, this was normally considered, Nikki and Carol, mm -hmm. a gay white mm -hmm. man's disease. Mm -hmm. Believe me, that's no longer the case. What happened in that community is that they became informed, their practices mm -hmm. changed, mm -hmm. and their numbers came mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. This isn't difficult, except right. for in our community when we don't even really want to talk about sex right. in an open and honest way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we use the monologues as a hook to get that's people good. in. We discuss everything. These uh, monologues are funny. Some of them are poignant. Mm -hmm. Some of them will make you laugh out loud. And some will probably make, make you cry. cry. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. We have to own everything that happens in our community. Yeah. But there is joy between our thighs, too. And we celebrate that as well. Right. I, 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 woo! Woo! Oh, I, I, I know the fellas are high. <laughs> that's right. So and the uh, fellas need to come and support. That's right. So that's that, was, right. that was my next question. Mm -hmm. So who would you all say this is for? Who's the, the ideal audience? Yes, the sorry. ideal audience is uh, women between the ages of 8 and 80. Okay. And the men that love them. Okay. Absolutely. So that yeah. sounds like our community. That's, That's our community. Right. Um, we're often asked about um, the connection to the vagina monologues, mm -hmm. which is, mm -hmm. uh, has been touring with an all-black cast for eight years. Right. And they were on the Tom Joyner cruise last year. Yeah. And he came up to the cast and said, why are y'all talking about Burt Reynolds? Can't you just insert Denzel's name? Oh. So I that see. then was a signal to the producers of that show that we need monologues that are That's reflective really to us. of Thank us. You. It doesn't take away any other monologues. I have been doing this now for three and a half years, and every time I go on the college campus, there is a night for the vagina monologues, mm -hmm. the Latino, mm -hmm. uh, Latino ladies have a monologue, the Asian ladies even have the wow. pearls of wisdom. Wow. What about women of color? Well. We're here to fill that, that pocket, pocket, pocket book. book. That's, that's, right. <laughs> that's right. Okay, so once again, tell everybody where it is and where we can get tickets. You can get tickets online right now, and there's a discount for college students. And um, you just log on to pocketbooktour.com. We'll be on the campus of Georgia Tech at First Center for the Performing Arts on Saturday night, and showtime is promptly at 8 o'clock. You heard that. The P word, promptly. Promptly. Okay. Promptly. Okay. Because we understand that the women that are volunteering their time are flying in from across the country. Wow. Luckily, we have Nikki, who's right here in Atlanta. So we are very um, aware that people have lots of things mm -hmm. to do. So when we make a choice to be a part of the production, we want to respect their time. And we want to respect the time of the people that come. Because if you right. tell me the show starting at 8, I work in radio. My break is at a certain time. It's not late. <laughs> so I have become a little okay. anal with it. Okay. So 8 o'clock to me means right. 8 o'clock. Right. We know minutes and seconds in this business, but they count. Time is money. Absolutely. One more second. Nikki, so what has this done for you? And what, what, 
what what kind of change have you kind of incurred you know, with just being a part of a show like this? I think it's just incredible. It's just amazing to be able to share the stage with other sisters and 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 sitting here with Miss McGee. I know. I see how you look at her. You know I what I'm saying? Her. It's just yeah. a real inspiration. Yeah. You know, being a playwright as well and an actress and a singer all around. I feel that if I can't do anything meaningful with my career at this point and with my voice, then it's not so necessary. And I have to be necessary. Very and um, that's pretty to much necessary. I have to be necessary. And you know I want what? that you on the t-shirt. <laughs> I, you know, I have to be necessary. Have you know what? Necessary. And I love that coming from a sister that is much younger than myself. And maybe well, not much. But, okay, now, don't let Clara <laughs> Don't let Clara fool you. But really, to have that mature yeah. type of position and to be yeah. proud of it, and that's great. Well, it's about steps, and, yeah. and I understand that I might be a little bit closer, you know, to a sister in her 20s or whatever the case may be. And, you know, bottom line is I have a big mouth, and God has definitely <laughs> blessed me with the ability to sing. So now we're going to share this wonderful, amazing project with um, Miss McGee and, you know, talk about the pocketbook, because that is either going to destroy our community right, or right. uplift it. Right.